Many royal palaces around the world have survived the test of time, and their sheer size, luxury, magnificence and value make the construction of proper palaces uneconomical and impractical. Have you ever had the opportunity to visit or perhaps spend the night in a royal palace? If not, we got you covered. Welcome to Planet Lux, and in this video we'll take a look at the most expensive palace in the world. Number 8. Winter Palace, St. Petersburg, Russia The Winter Palace is one of St. Petersburg's most spectacular structures. This palace has played an important symbolic, political and cultural role in the history of the city. From 1732 to 1917, the Russian kings made this palace their official residence. Prior to the construction of this magnificent castle, a wooden Dutch-style imperial home was built here in 1708 for Peter the Great and his family. In 1711, a stone structure replaced the wooden home, which eventually became the Hermitage Theatre's foundation. This palace is located between the square and the embankment, providing a safe and tranquil atmosphere for royalty. The current Winter Palace was built around 1730, with a design that changed numerous times until 1837, when it was restored due to a terrible fire. At the height of the Russian Revolt in 1917, people stormed into the palace, and that was the last year it served as the monarch's formal residence. Number 7. Neuschweinstein Palace, Bavaria, Germany one of the things that makes this castle so wonderful is its history, which is both rich and intricate. Ludwig's father, King Maximilian II of Bavaria, purchased the ruins of Schweinstein Castle in 1832 and replaced it with the Hohenschwangau Castle, a neo-Gothic palace completed in five years. The Hinter Hohenschwangau Castle and the Vorder Hohenschwangau Castle, both of which shared a fortified tower house, a keep and a hall overlooking the Neuschweinstein Castle, but were in ruins. When Ludwig succeeded to the throne in 1864, his first project was to construct the new Hohenschwangau Castle to replace the two damaged ones. Rather than using Bavarian public funding, he spent his personal money and even borrowed to execute this endeavor. However, following his death, the castle was given the name Neuschweinstein, which is still in use today. Number 6. Alhambra, Andalusia, Spain Alhambra is the name of this magnificent palace and fortress complex, which is one of Spain's most stunning structures. The Romans built a minor stronghold here in 889 AD, but it was neglected until the mid-13th century. The Moorish Emir of Granada, Mohammed ben Al-Ahmar, restored it, constructed the fortifications and built a palace here. Yusuf I, Sultan of Granada, converted it into a royal residence in 1333. Following the 1492 Christian Reconquista, the palace was transformed into the royal court of Ferdinand and Isabella, and it was partially transformed into a Renaissance style. The Morisco rebellions in Granada eventually resulted in the fortress being abandoned for generations and occupied by squatters. Napoleon's defeat resulted in the rediscovery of the palace, which historians believed he had destroyed in retaliation. Although European Romantic travelers and British academics were among the first to visit this palace, it is now one of Spain's most popular tourist destinations. Number 5. Patala Palace, Tibet, China This magnificent castle is breathtaking in every way. Although it is now a World Heritage Site and a museum, this palace served as the Dalai Lama's residence from its completion in 1959 until the 14th Dalai Lama was forced to escape to India due to the Tibetan uprising. Historians think that this palace stands on the site of a previous castle known as the White or Red Palace, which Songtsang Genpo erected in 637. In 1645, the 5th Dalai Lama began building on the Patala Palace. One of the Dalai Lama's spiritual counselors, Konchok Chofel, argued that it was appropriate for the seat of government to be positioned between the Sera and Drepung monasteries and Lhasa, the old city where it now sits. The sloping walls are typically 3 meters thick, with a foundation as thick as 5 meters. To strengthen the foundation and safeguard the palace from earthquakes, it was combined with copper. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic, let's see number 4. Umayyad Pawan Palace, Jodhpur, India Amazing, fantastic, spectacular and beautiful are only a few words to characterize this grandeur. 
This palace, located in Jodhpur, India, is without a doubt one of the nicest in the world. This is the residence of Gaj Singh and the former Jodhpur royal dynasty. This palace was named after Maharaja Yumaid Singh, Gaj Singh's grandfather. This palace contains 347 rooms, a museum within its walls, and a part maintained by Taj Hotels. The construction of the Umayyad Bhawan Palace began in November 1929 and was completed 14 years later. People referred to the Umayyad Bhawan as the Chirar Palace while it was being built because the builders used stones from the Chirar Hill. This palace is noteworthy to the people of Jodhpur because, in addition to being a fantastic tourist attraction, Maharaja Umayyad Singh built it during a time of famine in order for people to acquire jobs and earn money for their survival. Number 3. Palace of Versailles, Ile-de-France, France This photo of the Palace of Versailles is nothing short of magnificent, emphasizing its size and exceptional beauty. Because it was erected in the midst of a small 11th century village, the gorgeous and skillfully preserved surroundings provide a stark contrast to how this region used to look during construction and its original completion. In 1623, Louis XIII began construction on this palace, intending it to be a hunting lodge. However, Louis XIV expanded it and relocated France's center of political authority from Paris to this palace in 1682, making it the official royal residence. The first enlargement took place between 1661 and 1678, while the second took place between 1678 and 1715, transforming the once hunting lodge into this beautiful fortress. However, due to the French Revolution, the royal family was forced to return to Paris in 1789. This magnificent palace is now worth more than 50 billion dollars, but its rich history and symbolism of the absolute monarchy government are priceless. Number 2. Grand Palace, Bangkok, Thailand The Grand Palace, which is a cluster of structures rather than a single structure, is stunning from every viewpoint. Until 1925, the kings of Siam and later the kings of Thailand utilized this palace as their official residence, the home of king's court and the seat of the royal government. Despite the fact that various governmental activities and royal rituals are held here, this magnificent palace is one of Thailand's most popular tourist destinations. When the Chakri dynasty moved the capital city from Thonburi to Bangkok, King Puthayotva Chulalok ordered the construction of this palace. The construction of this beautiful palace began in May 1782, and it has undergone countless structural additions during the various reigns. Following Thailand's abolishment of absolute monarchy in 1932, government agencies and the royal family relocated to other houses, leaving it to be the tourist attraction it is today. Number 1. Schönbrunn Palace, Vienna, Austria This gorgeous palace in Vienna, Austria is perhaps one of the country's most significant historical, cultural and architectural monuments. A massive mansion called the Kutterberg stood in its position prior to the construction of this palace. In 1569, the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian II purchased the area and installed wildlife for hunting and exotic birds for observation. People spent a lot of time in this area because it was popular for pleasure and hunting. After the death of her husband, Ferdinand II, Eleonora Gonzaga obtained the residence and built a castle there between 1638 and 1643. The current style, however, is the product of expansions and remodeling done between 1740 and 1750 under the reign of Empress Maria Theresa, who received the estate as a wedding gift. The several Habsburg rulers who resided in this palace had diverse preferences, aspirations and hobbies, all of which added to the castle's beauty. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Which of these palaces would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.